We use the big five-axis milling machines in the manufacturing process for some of the larger items like the chassis. We also use them for producing the tool and block patterns, which are the basis for the carbon fibre moulds in which we'll make the composite parts themselves. initially painted here in our paint shop and in fact comes back every time the car runs at a test or a Grand Prix. A stone chip does a lot of damage at 200 miles an hour and it's really important that the car looks at its very best because of course it's representing our Red Bull brand along with the brands of our partners. In our R&D rig test room, we're able to test individual systems from the car, for example our braking system, but what we're also able to do on our seven post hydraulic rig is to test the entire dynamics of the car. We're able to put a full size car onto the rig with seven hydraulic actuators, there's one under each wheel, two under the engine and one under the nose. Now one of the things we're able to do is to put the car through a whole range of frequencies to see where different parts of the car vibrate. Just like in a road car, when you get to a certain speed and your dashboard starts to vibrate, different parts of our race car will do the same thing. But it's extremely violent, so we need to know where those points are. Also, and more interestingly, we've recorded telemetry, which means that we can simulate any of the circuits that we race on. Now, although we use computer simulation more and more these days for engineering analysis, there's still a requirement to make physical tests. We may put a nose onto this rig and make a fatigue test, push it up and down and side to side. Another test that we have to apply by regulation is to apply hydraulic loads to the chassis. We squeeze it and we put loads onto it. In fact, the load that we put onto the roll hoop, which is the piece behind the driver's head, is equivalent to putting a double-decker bus full of people onto the top of the car. Well, this is the last stage in the factory. This is where all of those aluminium and titanium and carbon fiber parts come together for hydraulic and electronics and aerodynamics. And of course, the three main components being the chassis, the engine and the gearbox. This is where they come together. The car is then transported to the Grand Prix to compete, and afterwards, this is where it comes back, to be dismantled, for parts to be sent in different directions, to be quality inspected for hairline cracks and other flaws and in some cases replaced by better parts to make the car go even faster. So that's Red Bull Technology and Red Bull Racing. That's how we design and test and build our racing cars. I've thoroughly enjoyed showing you around. Thanks for visiting.